game of the day in the NFL because of what is on the line today. The Browns come into the game, winners of five of six. The Ravens come into the game, winners of five of six. Anything you got right here, bro, this is the last one. To a man, anything I got, I'm giving y'all, man, for real. For the Ravens, in terms of the stakes, third year in a row, they come to the latter part of the season, beating the beat at a division opponent to earn a spot in the playoff. Baker's got the snap, looks and throws, ends up, Perriman, wide open, touchdown! Rashad Perriman, and the Browns take the lead. He was wide open, a 28-yard touchdown pass for the former Raven. Hey, it's a marathon and not a sprint. Let's keep it going now. Jackson under center, quarterback sneak, oh. leaps over, ball is knocked loose, but after a touchdown. Got it over. Lamar Jackson breaks the plane. Hey. Baker's got the snap. He's up in the pocket. He's looking. He's looking. He got away from one man. Rolls to the right. He comes back to the left. He floats one down the middle, and Higgins caught it! <laughs> Mayfield in the shotgun by himself. Throws down the middle. Landry's wide open. 15, 10, 5, touchdown! Mayfield takes the snap. Back, dumps middle, and Joku's got it. Baker takes it, Lux fires one in, it is caught inside the end zone. I have a great catch to go, keep it going, keep it going. And guess what? The Browns are within two. Great tempo, great tempo, keep doing it. They can't line up quick enough, man. They have to know how to communicate it. Yeah, that's you know bad. Kevin can't hear. With a minute 49 left to go, down by two. Mayfield, he's got the snap, he's back, he rolls to the right, still rolling, throwing, and up the field, Perriman caught it! He rolls right, rolls right, throws, and Landry caught the ball, what a catch! 106 left to play. Baker Mayfield to throw, under pressure, his pass is intercepted! C.J. Mosley picks it off! Freddie Kitchens is the new head coach of the Cleveland Browns, the man who was the offensive coordinator on an interim basis, the man under whom Baker Mayfield and that offense was just lights out in the second half of the season, gets the job. I thought it was a good hire for the Browns. Now, the Browns, they did an extensive search in what they were looking for as far as moving forward. To me, too, they didn't make a long-term commitment. Most of these coaches are going to get four, four years, but when you have someone who doesn't have the experience, young guy like this, you're not committed to something that is going to hamstring the franchise. I believe he has a connection with Baker Mayfield that, that I believe is very, very important. I was shocked by the amount of football that he knew as a running back coach, how much he knew about being the quarterback, because he's a former quarterback, University of Alabama, how much he understood about the passing game, how much he understood about protections, and he had command of that side of the ball. Out of Cleveland this afternoon, as the Browns have signed former Chiefs running back Kareem Hunt, who was released after a domestic dispute with a woman inside of a hotel back in last February. Um, I was shocked, but... In a good way. Uh, I think this was a, a big step for the Cleveland Browns, um, and I'm okay with it. As a fan, as a spectator, as a, this on this side of the media, um, I'm all about second chances. I'm not condoning what he did. Welcome to The Fumble, I'm Britt Johnson. Odell Beckham Jr. finally responds to the trade rumors. I have all the details on that coming up to you. Last offseason, NFL wide receiver Odell Beckham Jr. signed a five-year contract extension with the New York Giants, worth a reported $90 million. This extension quickly shut down rumors that started back in 2016 that Odell would be traded by the Giants. The rumors have recently started up again after the 2018 season. Chris, I want to start with something that has just bubbled up over the last day or so coming out of Cleveland. The idea that maybe the Browns are cooking up a trade, not for Antonio Brown, but for Odell Beckham Jr. I think both of us realize how big that could be. Gettleman is proving to be a terrible GM, and this was an idiotic move. How's that? For, can I be more clear than that? The Giants, Gettleman, just chose to spend millions of dollars to see 
whether Baker Mayfield can win a Super Bowl in his second year. Let me get this straight. You sign Odell to make him the highest paid receiver in the league. Give him all the guaranteed money. You say you're not going to move him. And then you trade him for a mid-first and a third and Jabril Peppers, who, by the way, is going to replace Landon Collins, mm -hmm. who, by the way, you didn't even franchise. Let's stay with a similar one. Okay. And your response when I say Baker to Beckham. Oh, my gosh. Like, I think of... I think of Mahomes, Tyree Kill. I guess that would be where I'd go. I'd go, this has a chance to be uh, one of the special combinations in all of football. You know, hey, listen, Troy Aikman, Michael Irvin, Steve Young, Jerry Rice. I think this has the, the, the potential to be that type of special thing for years and years to come. And he is just a phenomenal thrower of the football. Anything 10, 15 plus yards down the field where that's where Odell's left so many yards and plays on the field. And I really think that's a big part of this frustration the last few years is because he's going, damn, I'm open a lot and I could change the game if somebody would just hang in the pocket or throw the ball to me accurately down the field. Eli was one of the worst in football at throwing the ball accurately down the field. Baker's one of the best. Uh, let's take you, for example, if you're the quarterback. Yeah. The feeling is you don't have to throw the ball that accurately. Yeah. You're throwing to him. Yeah. No question. Like you, you think when I would, if I was underneath the center, okay, and I'm breaking the huddle and I got Odell Beckham Jr. on my team. And anytime he is one-on-one -on -one and has a, a route that is going to go downfield, a post, you know, a go route, whatever it may be, I can feel comfortable, okay, set hut, read his release off the line of scrimmage, and from there, whether he beats the guy with pure speed, okay, I can launch it deep and he's going to run and go get it. Okay, if the guy bails and all of a sudden you go, oh, he's not going to beat him deep, I mean, Odell Beckham Jr., as we know, his ability to catch back yep. shoulder passes, 50-50 jump balls, it's as good as anybody we've ever seen. Good morning. Thank you, sir. questions so they'll tell you that he loves you he did yeah. i said it to him though in case you are asking just because i was supposed to at that point right started out as a joke what will be the first thing you say to him when you meet him oh uh, i love you <laughs> give him a hug you know <laughs> gave him a hug too i mean he's uh just by the conversations i've had with him and uh you know him being here today just i like the guy Really, that's all I have to go off of right now is just the, the guy, and I like the guy. Um, so the relationship building process starts today and with uh, along with a bunch of other people. Oh, you're good. Uh, yeah, I'm going right now. I had to give him a good license. Yeah, yeah. Hey, you got to get Jurassic Park on there, bro. That boy did it. So first off, welcome. So talk about um, the response that you got from fans, both from the Giants and from the Browns. But a lot of love from this place, and uh, that's that's very special to me, you know, because I'm, I'm all about, this is what we do it for. We do it for those people, like to see kids running up and down the street, you know, getting police called on them, and it, it all feels kind of surreal.
With the first pick in the 2019 NFL Draft, the Arizona Cardinals select Kyler Murray, quarterback, Oklahoma. Cleveland Browns select Greedy Williams. Greedy Williams, cornerback. Greedy Williams getting greedy again. A 2018 second team AP All American selection. Greedy! Greedy? Huh? All right. <laughs> Shout out the best fans in the country. Let me get a dog <laughs> With the 80th pick in the 2019 NFL Draft, the Cleveland Browns select Sione Taki Taki, linebacker, BYU. I'm Cleveland Browns tight end David Njoku, and I'm here with 40-year season ticket member Glenn Rowan. With the 155th pick in the 2019 NFL Draft, the Cleveland Browns select Mac Wilson, linebacker, Alabama. Oh, here we go, Mac Wilson. I mentioned it earlier. If we did the draft after the fifth or sixth week of the season, he probably is the first or second round pick. Good and athletic. He's outstanding in coverage. And how about Alabama with the kind of clones that you get coming out of there? And I mean it in a good way. Mac Wilson expected to go much higher. Wouldn't you say, DJ? No I mean, we thought, as you said, during the season, we were talking about him potentially being a first, second round guy. But Rashawn Evans, who came out there the year before, right here in Tennessee with the Titans. to 10, up by two, Baker, play action fake, look, shoulder fake, looking down the middle for Foles, he caught it, and he's wide open, 10, 5, touchdown, Woo! 49 yards, Woo! Woo, woo, woo. got a damn rocket on my right arm, Let's fit that thing in, he turns, play action fake, lobs, end zone, Landry up in the air, caught it, left corner, a touchdown, Woo! Jeremy Woo! Landry, Hell yeah, baby! Hell yeah! Reservations for 11 in the end zone. I'll see you there, all right? I need the ceviche trio. Here's uh, Mayfield giving, and the run by Nick Chubb. Chubb is to the 30, 25, 15, 10, 5, right, touchdown, right, Nick right. Chubb! Hey, Sweet, I told you, buddy, you hey, hey, hey.
Roethlisberger. Running out of time, hit from behind, and he goes down. Miles Garrett. Hit from behind. The ball is loose. Do the Browns have it? They do. Third down and 10, and Darnold is sacked. Garrett. Carr can't find anyone. Ball comes loose. And this play was both dead. Winston has the ball batted out of his hands and picked up by the Browns. Offense hasn't been able to get anything going, moving the ball down the field. Watson to throw on first down, running out of time, and goes down back at the 36-yard line. Two interceptions in 12 games. Two to nine, and that's Beckham making the catch. And off to the races he goes. Carr chasing him down. Can't get him. Touchdown Giants. They take the lead. Garoppolo thrown two interceptions and they'll run it to Greta. He has got nowhere to go. Sheldon Richardson. He's the running back. Play action. And Manning's going to heave one. Is, oh, there's a flag. Beckham a one-handed catch. How in the world? <laughs> oh my goodness. And Brandon Carr was back there. I mean, he is insane. How do you make that catch? Oh my goodness. Timeout, fourth and one. Very good. We're good. Walk too far. Hill and up in the backfield. A little shovel pass caught by Hunt. Broke a tackle of Ruby. Hurdles him at the five. Counting for a touchdown. Toledo, 23-yard touchdown run. On eight-yard line, Chubb remains the running back. 180, what's up? Mayfield under center, takes the snap, gives it. Chubb runs, he's in a 10, he's in a 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. There goes Chubb, he's in the 30, 20, 10, 5, touchdown, Chubb. Chubb is the number one Returnable by Speedy. Oh, oh, wow. Oh. That's Mac Wilson, a true freshman, by the way. He's going to be an elite player someday. Lottery defensive touchdown of the season. A lot of people think that Wilson could be the next great one. <laughs> 